अंतकर्णमेतेषु चक्षुरादिषु वर्षमणि अहमिति अभिमानेन आत्मान आभास तिष्ठति आभास तेजसा दिस आत्मा आभास दिस रिफ्लेक्शन द शैडो ऑफ दिस सेल्फ द एब्सोल्यूट द आई इज द शैडो इज अ थॉट अंडरस्टैंड अंडरस्टैंड फ्रेंड्स प्लीज फील इट जस्ट लाइक by continuously using the word flower, 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 flower and the object are almost one and the same. Are you getting that point, please? You know, by continuously using food, 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 the food and rice is one and the same. You almost, there is no distance. Because so intimate. Like that, Continuously using the word I and the consciousness, there seems to be no distance. But definitely, the word flower is not the object. However intimate it is in your mind, same way, I continuously using the word I, we have lost sight of ourselves. Listen, please. Very nicely explains the language. Antakarana metesu, chakshuradishu, barshmani. In all these upadis, chakshuradishu, I is. Ear, everything. Just take eyes or ear, anything you take. Just take eyes. Now the, listen, the moment this object is presented in front of you, your eyes see the object, right? Eyes see. Suppose your eyes are closed. Can the eye, uh, can you, can your eyes see the object now? Cannot. So who is seeing the object? Eyes see or you see? Eyes open, object is seen. Eyes closed, object are not seen. So who sees the object? You or the eyes? Are you getting that point please? But you see that the eyes see. Do you see the object? Yes. Are you conscious? Yes. What are you conscious? I see. What do you see? See the flower. So I see that I see the flower. Now close your eyes. Do you see the object? No. I don't see the object. How do you see? I see. What do you see? I don't see. So the, take the two statements. Are you getting that? Take the two statements. I see that I see the object. I see that I don't see the object. The second half, seeing and not seeing, are the function of the eyes. Are you getting that point or not? Tell yes or no. Yes. Clear? You are conscious that your eyes see. Now you are conscious your eyes don't see. So seeing is the function of the eyes. Here, are you listening? Yes. Now close the ear. Are you listening? Listen. It's a very funny thing. You close your ear. Are you listening? If you say no, are you still listening? How can you say? <laughs> this is not a habit. <laughs> are you listening? No. Huh? How are you then? If you don't listen, how to reply? <laughs> anyway, jokes are about that because you are conscious. Your ears cannot hear, but your eye, your eyes can read the lips. The teacher says. You are conscious. Your eyes can read the lip. So consciousness is always there. Are you getting that point? So eyes see, ears hear. But Ahankara jumps in and says, I see, I hear. Thoughts come or you think? 
Where are you getting that? When you sit down for yourself, quietly sitting down, the thoughts come or you bring the thought? The thoughts come. But the moment the thoughts come, the eye says, I don't know why am I thinking like this? You are thinking. What are you are thinking? The thought comes. And the thought goes. I'm trying to desperately hold on to the thought, it goes away. Are you? If it comes, it will go. If it wants to go away, you consciously, that you can maintain. Consciously, you can build it. Understand? To see, to hear, to taste, to touch, you don't need to say I. To think also, you don't need to say. I. To be, is it necessary to say I? Are you getting that point now? To see, to hear, to touch, to perceive is not necessary to say I see to see, I hear to hear. Nor is it necessary to say I think to think. It's not necessary to say I am to be. Oh, it's fantastic. Your being, the consciousness, doesn't need a name. That's why this I thought is the avasa. It is a reflection. 